Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Journey. This is Kavya. In this video, I am going to explain the SAS Certified Specialist Best Programming Question Number 26. If you are watching this video for the first time, please subscribe to the Great Online Training channel and like the video if you are liking the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the SAS certification. Let me enter into the question number 26. The question number 26 is which assignment statement will produce a value for full name with a comma between the last name and the first name? And this question is about selecting the correct assignment statement to create a string called full name that includes a comma between the person's last name and the first name. And in this question, we are given four options. Each using different concatenation functions, that is the catS and catX function. And the goal is to choose the option that correctly creates the full name string with a comma between the last name and first name. And let's see the options. To solve this, we need to understand what each function does. And the cat is usually concatenates strings without a delimiter, that is a separator between them. While the cat x concatenates strings with a specified delimiter. And it acts as the first argument. And the delimiter which is used is act as the first argument in the cat x function. Now, to correctly place the comma between the last name and first name, we need to pick the option that uses the delimiter properly. And the option A adds a comma before the last name. And which is not we want because the cat is function which is used to concatenate the strings without adding a delimiter. But here the delimiter is added and the option is wrong. The delimiter here is nothing but the comma which is uh, present before the last name and the option is wrong. The cat x function does not use the delimiter. It just concatenates the strings with removing the leading and trailing blanks. And the cat x function is the second option. And here, the cat x function is same as the cat x function, but it adds a delimiter that acts as the first argument. And the option B is likely correct choice because the cat x typically concatenates strings with a specified delimiter. And here we can see it uh, concatenates string with a specified delimiter. And here it correctly places the comma between the last name and first name. The cat x function is used to place a delimiter as the first argument and it obeys all the rules, it may be the correct choice. And let's see the third option. And full name is equal to cat s, last name and first name. And here we can see, here the delimiter is added the comma as the last argument. And the cat s function is not to use the delimiter as the separator. And the option is also wrong. And the full name is equal to cat x of last name, comma, first name and the comma. The fourth option also concatenates the last name and the first name directly without a comma between them. Because the comma is present as the last argument, but for the cat x function, the comma should be present as the first argument. And here the option B is also wrong. And the correct option is B because the cat x function is used and also it obeys all the rules for the cat x function. The cat x function which is used to concatenate the strings and act as a delimiter, as a separator, and it acts as the first argument. The cat x is used for this option B. And the cat s function which is used to concatenate the strings and to remove the leading and trailing blanks but did not add the delimiter. And here the option is B. And if you have any questions in this video, comment in the comment box. And if you want to learn the SAS certified specialist based programming, you can log in into the great online training channel and log in into the link that was given below in the comment box. And please subscribe to the great online training channel and like the video if you like the video and share the video to your friends and colleagues who need the certification and thank you thank you for watching